So that's all I've done. That's all that line is. It's just kind of given a spacer there, and I've made it the background color. And I did for same for stat, stat ed, type. And you can kind of play with this and, and see how it works. It's really simple. The next thing, the new thing we're going to do is a while statement. The while statement is actually from here to here. And it says while inventory info 3, MySQL fetch array inventory 2, while there's something in the inventory. So if you're a player with nothing in your inventory, it's not even going to loop this because it's saying while there's something there. Uh, and I'll show you what we want to do because let's say you don't have anything in your inventory. Let's go ahead and use this item. We don't want to just show a blank table there. So let's go back to use table. If you notice, I have a use nothing. You have nothing in your inventory. Go back. If you were to take this and put that, what I've done here, let me just start up here. Counter equals zero. I just made a variable and made it equal zero. It has no meaning right now. But what I did was, is if there's something in the inventory, then counter equals one. In other words, if this loop runs at least once, it's going to turn counter into one. If it doesn't run, if there's nothing in your inventory, it's going to skip this loop. It's going to come down here, it's going to end the table, and it's going to say if counter equals zero. In other words, if the, if this was never even hit, then that means if this this table was never run, then you know there's no inventory in there. Then if counter equals zero, you have nothing in your inventory. If you were to take this and put it in here instead and say, well, why don't you just put if uh, inventory three equals null, because it'll never run this. It'll never go through it, so you have to put it outside your loop. And if, if you don't quite understand what I'm saying, you will... As if just kind of play with it and you'll see what I mean. You can actually uh, try to type a you know a test in this, you know, just echo out, echo out a straight print, and it won't it won't loop through because there's nothing in there. The only way it's going to loop through this loop right here is if there's a while in there, if there's something in there. So anyway, skip on past that. We're ending our table. Simple stuff. It's just saying stop the table so anything we print after that's not stuck inside that table. Uh. And then here's our counter. You have nothing in your inventory. And then there's a link. Never mind. Now to go. What's if you do have something in your table in your in your inventory? All I'm doing is I'm doing another print. If you notice, I have more TD tags. This TD tag is going to line up with this first one right here. All I've did is I printed the info three, and then the name, uh, the name of the item, and then the stats, the stat add. All it's doing is getting that information from up here. It's whatever that inventory item is. And the only thing that that you that's kind of different is at the very end of it, you want to you want the person to be able to use the item. The way to do that is to actually create a href inside there, where this randed random ID equals the inventory, the item random ID, and the creature equals the creature. That way, you're still passing over that creature, and then a use item link, you know, some something that says use item. Now to explain randed. Random ID is something that I do personally. I don't know if anybody else uses it, but it's kind of my anti-cheat system. And let me let me go into the database. <clears throat> what I do is, if we were to actually, let me go back here. If we were to not to put a random ID, let's say I had potion of healing right here, and I hit use item. Up here in the link, it's when we go back to battle, it's going to say use item or, or item equals this you know the name equals healing potion that's too easy for a player to manipulate player could go in there and put in whatever item they want they would never even have to see their inventory and they could possibly use other people's items we don't want that when you're using URL variables it's very easy for people to manipulate it random ID or this randed stops that it's a number from 1000 to 999 million 999,999 uh, 999. it's multi multi millions of possible possible possibilities every time in any game I write the way I write it is every time you buy an item you use an item the item gets changed you get you assign it a brand new random ID that way if let's say they have a potion of healing has a random ID of 54,555 they're gonna see all they're gonna see is that number so if, and then once you use that item it's gone let's say you buy another one the next item is gonna have a totally different random ID so they're not gonna be able to go in there and manipulate it because of the chance of them guessing that that num that potion or whatever that items random ID is a fat chance better off trying to win the lottery a lot better off so it just kinda stops them from being able to cheat uh, I don't have anything in the inventory right now. And you'll kind of see that as we go. I'll, I'll explain it a little more as I go. But that's what the random ID is. It's just a, an anti-cheat. Another thing it also does, let's say you have two potions of healing exactly the same except for one heals for 10 and one heals for 5. Uh, 
and the player clicks on it and let's say you were doing everything by name well the database wouldn't know which item you're talking about so we would just pick one probably the most the one that's on the top when you select it by random ID two items are not going to have the same same random ID and even if they were they wouldn't have the same name there's fat chance that they would have the same name and same random ID when there's 999 million possibilities so that pretty much ends our use item PHP go ahead and save that and what we've done is and let's go ahead and let me kind of an example show you let's go back let's go to store and let's buy one and if you notice the player never sees the random ID you always keep that hidden that way they never know the only time they're actually gonna see it is when it pops up here when it's too late or, or right before you change it and let's use the item here's our use item script and now we use the item here's that random ID that potion's gone so that random ID doesn't matter anymore so the next potion you have is gonna have a totally different random ID <coughs> so use the major potion of healing recover 15 uh, now let me show you what we did in battle.php to make that happen on use item on our link we made it circle back to battle.php and it sends this random ID so back in battle.php we need to set a variable that's just like the is set creature but it's is set get randed if a randed gets passed through the URL which would lead from that last page then we want to go ahead and set that randed select all inventory where select all from inventory where randed equals that actual randed and it's going to find that item and then we're going to go ahead and and and, and just as another anti-cheat if someone tries to guess a randed then it's going to say it's they're most li not li likely not going to find anything in there so it'll actually say if is not set the item info three name then it just loops them out and they, they end up coming at the bottom of this loop down here and it's just like they were playing before they wouldn't even know that they didn't that they messed up basically it's just going to do this and it's going to completely skip this else right here the else is what's important because if they did do it the proper way and they did go ahead and select their item then it, then the item info three name is going to be set and then, then what we're going to do is we're going to set all these variables to make it easier stuff we already know the name equals the name the stats equal the stat if type equals healing which our potions do then new hit points equals our stat add which was the the amount of hit points we're adding from that stat how much the healing is adding and it's adding it to our player hit points if new hit points is greater than the player info 3's max hit points this is where it sets it so if new hit point is if your max hit points is 30 and you have 19 and 19 and let's say your your potion does 30 you now have 49 hit points well how's that when your max is 30 that's what this does if new hit points is greater than so if that 49 is greater than your your 30 it's going to ahead and say new hit points is equal to your max HP which is 30 then we're going to update the player set H points equals the new H points where name equals player we've been through that and then we're going to go ahead and delete the item out of your out of the inventory and then the one thing I did here is if if you don't set player hit points equals the new hit points and you can go ahead and comment this out just like this just, just to show you what I'm talking about and then save it and try it if you don't do that you'll have to refresh so whenever I actually use the item it'll come here it'll say this right here but my hit points won't be updated because it'll still have the old hit points you need to go ahead and set the player hit points to the new hit points that way you don't have to hit refresh to see your new hit points and if you just comment that out you understand what I'm talking about and there's that echo that I did it just says use and it concatenates the the variable of, of the potion and recovered this many stat add that's all to battle.php that's pretty much how I did it to make it work that next thing we want to do is we want let's go ahead and do the store